Hi everybody, it's me Trader Max here with Crypto Ronins and we are on our course using Dex Screener. We're in the chapter of charts, indicators and tools and in this one we're going to be talking about indicators. Let's get started. All right, now that we're here, we can come up here and just click on indicators. There's a lot of them. This is where the indicators are at. Oh, that's the end of it. See you next time. No, seriously. I used to work for TradingView uh, and I've written, I'd say maybe 20 type of indicators, if you will, systems, scripts, if you will, for that company. And what I have learned is that indicators are only as good as your knowledge of them. And we're going to talk about that here in a second, a little slideshow I'm going to do for you. But I want you to see that there's a lot. They all have their own department and their category, and we're going to talk about those. But I'm not here today to show you what all these are. I'm here to kind of give you an overview what indicators are in this particular series. In the chart system for Dex Screener, this is where they are, right? You can, you can create them. You can uh, save an indicator template. Like if you got a particular certain amount of, you know, on, like maybe I'll do a, let's just let's just put on something a macd right this is the moving average conversions and divergence and you know and i like it to be on here and it's here and i love it right so every time that i have it i'm going to save the i'm going to put it on the indicator and say max is best okay and i'm going to hit save Pink. okay and now i'm saving that if you don't know what this is it doesn't matter at the moment we're just talking about the functions of the indicator itself now if i Put the indicator on and I hover over the indicator, I'm gonna see it's the MACD and it has the timestamp 12, 26, a close in nine. You still gotta learn what all this stuff is, right? See, the, the, the length, the overall length, the style can be changed, the visibility can be changed, the inputs can be changed. You can create and save as default in a particular one. So you can save just this and create, this is the default every time you pull up the MACD, it has your defaults in there. Now for you advanced traders, I'm going to be doing a course that is for advanced indication, all right? And it means that there's a lot of bullshit in there. I mean, so much stuff. I could spend years of talking to you about it, but I'm going to give you some advices in the next part of this uh, in a few seconds here so you have a clear understanding, okay? But the tools themselves on Dex, Dex uh, uh, Screener, these are, these, are, these are decent. You can't import any other indicators in at this moment, not that I'm aware of, uh, but you can... You can change and alter every single one. Like if I pull this off right now, I go like that and I come back up here and I hit this and I pop that and it pops back on. Super simple, right? And if I want to get rid of it for just a second, great. It won't change until you do what? Until you save the indicator template again, right? Super simple. You can put on a few other ones. Oh, Christmas tree time. Yay. And then you can go back in and make an indicator, uh, save the template, and say Xmas time, yeah, wow, okay. That way when you change it, I want mine back, Pew. there it is. That's it, super simple. So that's the understanding of what indicators and how the main function is. If you do understand what the indicators are, then this is where you're at, right? This is how you can save them, how you can move them. You can have it below the chart or above the chart. Okay, you see, put a little arrow there, boom, 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 okay. You can collapse the pain so you don't have to see it, but then it becomes a little pain down here. A pain in my ass. Yep, that's right. You extend it again. You just see the whole thing. You just look at the MACD all day and trade it if you want to. And you get to collapse it again. Okay. Now, most people don't realize that the charts come with the uh, candlesticks and a volume indicator down below, right? Like, I'm always saying, I don't use any indicators, but actually I kind of do. I kind of have the one indicator on here of the uh, volume indicator, which is powerful because it's right up here. You can change it just like anything else. Change the style that it looks like. You can change those to green if you want to, as far as I'm concerned. If you don't like the colors, that's okay. But you can change the visibility, the way the lines are, everything in that set. So if you find something and you like it, save it. It's good. It's okay. So you don't have to keep always saving and changing and doing all that kind of nonsense. Make these charts comfortable because you're going to be here a lot. You're going to be on this charting system a lot, trust me. And guess what? This works on here, 
it works on Dex tools, it works on anywhere you have a system, you're gonna learn how to use the trading view charts here in systems in this little process. And in the trading system, the trading, you're gonna be learning how to trade and use some of these, you know, for, for the advanced stuff, longer term and all that. But in the next video series part of this, I will, in, in, in the system, I'm gonna give you some, what are indicators, and it's a free uh, process here, um, that's going to be going out to everybody but I want you to watch that video of what are indicators okay so you get an understanding of what that process is and what to be careful for so don't just come in and because you got some experience you have an uncle who used the MACD with an RSI or an oscillator or Bollinger Bands or the rainbow system wink wink nudge nudge rip okay so keep that in mind as you go through that indicators aren't your best friend and you'll see why in that video that we'll be making okay but here, that's where the indicators are. That's how to sort of gravitate to them and pull them in. Um, you can kind of see that uh, they all have the same kind of makeup, right? You can go in and change them. You can move them around. Okay, you can look at the settings. You can look at the inputs. You know, once you know what all these things are for each one, I will be going over in the trading system some of the most popular ones, the ones that I would use if I was in crypto, if I had more information. That's one last warning I can give you. Crypto is usually two or three days a week, a month, what have you. <coughs> Most indicators that I used in Forex had a 90 day, 200 day kind of set of history. So the more history you have, the more information you have, the better. And then sometimes a little bit too much. Okay. All right. I'm Trader Max. I'll see you next time.